Since 1928, Sunshine Village Ski and Snowboard Resort has been serving up endless mountain terrain in the heart of an unspoiled wilderness. Wide open slopes, abundant snowfall, a village alive with spirit, all within Banff National Park in the Canadian Rockies. Sunshine Village is renowned for its lengthy season from mid-November until late May. Just 15 minutes from the resort town of Banff, Sunshine Village offers more 3,300 acres of terrain on three mountains, with an average annual snowfall of more than 9 meters, 30 feet. The broad range of runs vary from family-friendly green to the world-famous double black delirium dive. Its unique village location on the Continental Divide at 2,200 meters, 7,200 feet, ensures champagne powder conditions last until its legendary end-of-year party, the Slush Cup, on May 23, 2016. We call it Canada's best snow. Incredible scenery just 90 minutes from Calgary. Sunshine Village sits high on the Continental Divide in the heart of Banff National Park, yet just 15 minutes drive from the cozy mountain town of Banff. Three sprawling mountains provide breathtaking sight lines, uninterrupted by any signs of civilization beyond the resort's leasehold. It's possible to ski in two provinces, Alberta and British Columbia, in one run. Sunshine Village's seven-month season stretches from early November until late May, the longest non-glacial season in Canada. The village's altitude of 7,082 feet ensures the snow stays dry. Sunshine can receive up to 9 meters, 30 feet, of snow in a season, and it stays all year. It's truly Canada's best snow. The resort features more than 3,300 acres of skiable terrain, ranging from gentle, inviting beginner runs all the way up to the most extreme big mountain runs. Delirium Dive has been named one of the 10 top off-pist destinations in the world. The resort also features the massive 12-acre Divide Terrain Park with more than 50 features once fully operational. The resort also features 12 lifts, including 9 super lifts, and a high-speed gondola. Banff Sunshine Village, formerly Sunshine Village, is a ski resort in Western Canada, located on the continental divide of the Canadian Rockies within Banff National Park in Alberta and Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park in British Columbia. It is one of three major ski resorts located in the Banff National Park. Three, because of its location straddling the Continental Divide, Sunshine receives more snow than the neighboring ski resorts. The Sunshine Base area is located 15 kilometers, 9 mile, southwest of the town of Banff. By car. It is about a 90-minute drive from the city of Calgary, the Sunshine exit on the Trans-Canada Highway is 8 kilometers, 5 mile, west of the town of Banff. Banff Sunshine ski runs and lifts are accessed via an 8-person high-speed gondola. It moves passengers from the parking lot, or bus terminal, to Goat Si Mountain in 10 minutes and to the Upper Village area in 18 minutes. There are 9 chairlifts and 120 trails within the Alpine Valley formed by the three mountains, Mount Standish, Lookout Mountain, and Goat Si Mountain, that constitute Banff Sunshine. In summer, the resort runs a shuttle bus service to its attractive walking trails and alpine meadows. History the first explorer that passed through the Sunshine area was Governor George Simpson of Hudson's Bay Company. His party passed through the area in 1841 seeking new quicker routes into the Columbia District. His diary noted hole in the wall Goat Si Mountain and he left a blaze in a tree that has since been preserved in the Banff Natural History Museum. The next significant exploration party was the Palliser Expedition in the late 1850s, Mount Borg, 
is named for one of its members. Everything changed with the building of the Canadian Pacific Railway and its arrival in Banff in the late 1880s. Bill Pato may have been the first person to bring real tourists through the sunshine area of the eccentric peacock prowls. Pato was a trapper and prospector. He was also a competent guide, as his rugged life clarification needed, gave him the skills required to face the often harsh realities of nature further explanation needed. In the 1890s Pato would guide tourists through the sunshine meadows to the base of Mount Assiniboine, the highest peak in the southern continental ranges of the Canadian Rockies. By the 1920s, Sunshine Meadows had become a popular camping site. Pat Brewster, the youngest son of dairyman John Brewster, was the first to regularly bring tourists for overnight camping at Sunshine Meadows. This area was nicknamed TP Town on account of the many tents that overnight campers would set there upon reaching the top of the TP Town chairlift today when one who is looking over the same sunshine meadows that were busy with camp as those many decades earlier when, in 1928, the Canadian Pacific Railway built a lock cabin lodge for the use of the trail riders of the Canadian Rockies, a club of horse enthusiasts who were sponsored by the tourist-friendly railway. This cabin was certainly not the first lodge built in the region. Bill Pato's cabin near Simpsons Pass was built more than 30 years earlier, but it is now the oldest building at Banff Sunshine and is known as the Old Sunshine Lodge. Housing Mad Trapper's Saloon and Bruno's Bistro, the OSL is situated at the timberline above what was then known as Wheeler's Flats and just below a vast expanse of high alpine meadows. Citation needed. In March 1929, Cliff White and Cyril Paris, two local extreme sports enthusiasts, created a plan clarification needed to use the CPR cabin as an overnight point in their ski trek over the Great Divide. Unfortunately they could not find the cabin that night and were forced to sleep in a dugout in the snow. Upon waking in the morning they discovered that they had only just missed the CPR cabin. These two men were the first to ski what is now known as Banff Sunshine. In 1934 Jim and Pat Brewster leased the cabin from the CPR and began offering ski vacations. They bought the lodge in 1936. In 1939 they hired Swiss guide Bruno Ingler as the first ski instructor. In 1941 a rope tow was built. The Brewsters owned the area until 1951 when it was sold to George Insel, who also owned nearby Mount Norquay. He added village to the name and made numerous improvements including the addition of a ski queue lift. In 1961 the resort was purchased by local Banff businessman Cliff White Jr. and his wife Bethel. Their vision has shaped the resort. Partnering with Power Corporation Resorts, they built the Sunshine Inn, now Sunshine Mountain Lodge, the Day Lodge and opened up the slopes of the Continental, Great, Divine Chairlift. He ushered in the modern era with the opening of the first gondola, which replaced bus access to the ski area, in 1980. In 1981, the resort was purchased by Ralph D. Schofield of Calgary. Since his passing in 1985, his sons, Ralph, Sergei, and John have run the resort and made many improvements. In 1988, the resort's first high-speed quad opened with the construction of the Angel Express on Lookout Mountain. In 1995, the resort expanded onto Goatsai Mountain, constructing a Palmer high-speed quad to service the new terrain. A year later, the Great Divide double chairlift to the summit of Lookout Mountain was replaced with an extended high-speed quad, also built by Palmer. In 2000, Palmer replaced the two chairlifts on the mountain in between Goatsai and Lookout Mountains. The Wheeler double chairlift was replaced with a high-speed quad. 
the Wolverine Express, and the Fire ET bar was replaced with a fixed grip quad, Jack Rabbit. In 2001, the aging gondola that had brought guests up to the mountain since 1980 was replaced with a modern gondola built by Palmer, reusing the same line and many of the original towers. At the same time, their Watt E bar was removed and a fixed grip quad was built by Palmer to replace it. In 2003, the Standish double chairlift was upgraded by Leitner Palmer to a high speed quad providing high-speed lift service to Mount Standish. In 2010, the Strawberry Triple Chairlift was removed and replaced with a used Doppel Mavetech high-speed quad. The Strawberry Express had originally been built as a temporary lift at Whistler Blackcomb in 2009 for the 2010 Winter Olympics to transport spectators from the Creekside base area to the finish line on a downhill course. In 2015, the last remaining double chairlift on the mountain, TP Town, was removed and replaced by Dop Elme with a bubble high-speed quad containing heated seats. Banff Sunshine now hosts some 500,000 skiers and snowboarders annually over a ski season that stretches from early November to late May. In 2019, Parks Canada and the resort reached an agreement over future expansion and leasehold area. Amenities Continental Divide Monument between British Columbia and Alberta at the top of Strawberry Chair. Banff Sunshine has 3,358 acres, 13.59 square kilometers, of skiable terrain in Alberta and BC. Its top elevation is at 2,730 meters, 8,960 feet. Its base elevation is at 1,660 meters, 5,450 feet, and its 1,070 70 meters, 3,510 feet tall. The primary skiing area around Banff Sunshine is based at 2,160 meters, 7,090 feet, providing 570 meters, 1,870 feet of vertical terrain to the top of Lookout Mountain. There are 120 named runs spreading out over three mountains, Goat Eyes Mountain, Lookout Mountain and Mount Standish, and the two provinces, Alberta and British Columbia. Lift service includes a gondola, chairs, high-speed quad with heated seats and bubbles and magic carpet lifts. Banff Sunshine is the first ski resort in Canada to feature a high-speed quad with heated seats and bubbles. This chair was constructed in 2015 and is known as TP Town. The annual snowfall is up to 30 feet, over 9 meters. The Sunshine Mountain Lodge, an 84-room hotel is located in the village at tree line 7,200 feet, 2,200 meters, above sea level. It is the only ski in slash ski out lodge in Banff Lake Louise. Guests can purchase a Marmot card to receive discounts on lift tickets. This card allows guests to ski at a discounted rate at both Banff Sunshine and Marmot Basin in Jasper and includes a number of free ski days. Due to its location in Banff National Park and the development restrictions that apply, parking at Banff Sunshine has long been in limited supply. When the main parking lot fills, visitors park along the access road and use a shuttle bus to get to the base lodge. This has been a source of friction with Parks Canada over the years, due to Parks Canada's concern about avalanche risks along the road. In 2017, a court overturned the Parks Canada imposed ban on access road parking. 9. Events The ski season begins in early November and traditionally ends in late May, on the Victoria Day long weekend with an event called the Slush Cup. 
slush cup participants attempt to ski down in front of a very large crowd of crazily dressed spectators, jump onto a pool of water, approximately 50-15 meters long and eight, 2.5 meters deep, and skim across the pool to the other side. All successful participants get raucous applause and bragging rights. Sunshine just celebrated its 90th Slush Cup in May 2018. Banff Sunshine has hosted many alpine ski and snowboard events. Terrain Mount Assiniboine seen from Banff Sunshine. Banff Sunshine offers terrain for all levels of skiers and boarders. It offers a mix of gentle tree-line beginner slopes, wide open above tree-line intermediate and expert terrain. Visitors to the resort will often access one of the eight adjacent backcountry terrain such as Wurridge or Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park in British Columbia. Avalanche rescue equipment is recommended for most backcountry areas. Rescue equipment is a requirement for access to the free ride zones of Delirium Dive and Wild West where the entrances are via a gate which remains locked at all times unless it detects a working avalanche transceiver on each person that passes through it. The entrance for Wild West is located on Goat's Eye Mountain while the entrance to Delirium Dive is located near the Great Divide. Sunshine also features a 5 kilometers ski out which brings guests from the village to the gondola base.